On approche de la fin. OK. We're uh, coming closer to the end of the uh, Fragrance Technology Conference uh, 4, FTC 4. Let's go international. We've already talked about international things. And there's more. Uh, let's talk about an international event. The last ICANN uh, meeting in Singapore. Again, ICANN is the uh, corporation, the organization which regulates uh, domain names on internet and manages all governance related questions. I would like to ask Tom McKenzie to join me. Tom is the head of stakeholder relations. Tom, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having accepted uh, this invitation, and thanks for sharing. So, as I said, hold on, let me start up your PowerPoint. Again, you are the uh, head of stakeholder relations. Thank you for uh, putting up the slides, gentlemen. So, how international is it to uh, go to ICANN? Oh, good question. Um, here's another map. We had a map earlier uh, with Romuald. Here's another one. This is what, um, pretty much what I have been doing over the past almost two years now, 18 months to two years. Very much uh, international indeed. And as you can see, we have uh, increasing global coverage uh, with uh, our particip participation at ICANN. I have explained before why people go to ICANN, and I'm not sure that uh, explaining it again now at 10 p.m. Uh, makes much sense, and I'm not sure we would have time to do so. But um, I, I do feel compelled uh, this evening, since we had Paul uh, earlier, who is one of the fathers of Internet, to, I, I feel compelled to uh, very briefly, no longer than one minute, to explain what ICANN is. I'll be very short, I promise. And why it is important to go to ICANN. One minute. 1970. People were using phones, fixed telephony, landlines, and a guy invents TCPIP. This is the very first step toward internet. A few years after, Paul, who was here uh, earlier this evening, comes in and sets up what will later become DNS. We're now in the early 80s. A few years after that, In the late uh, 80s, Tim Berners-Lee comes in with uh, the HTTP protocol and the web launch. This is right before ICANN was created. So the web picks up. And uh, at the end of the 90s, ICANN is created. And it also happens so to be that right at that time, Frogans, uh, the Frogans, Frogans project started. So this is at the end of the 90s. This is when ICANN was started. And ICANN, in a matter of years, um, became the international body which coordinates uh, Re IP resources. And it coordinates governance and international policies. 
regarding extensions and domain names, top-level domains. I can brings approximately 3,000 people together three times a year. And so these are the conferences we have attended over the past two years. OK. So OP3FT has two roles within ICANN, business as usual. That's one. It's an opportunity to meet a lot of internet players in one place to present the Brogan's technology. Absolutely, two roles. The first one is that OP3FT uh, um, is the holder of uh, dot Frogans. We have to be represented. We have to be around the table with all the other holders. It's called the Registry Stakeholder Group, which we are a member of. And secondly, and most importantly, we go there to meet some of the players of uh, the internet ecosystem. And we go there as representatives of uh, the Brogan's technology. Um, it's a completely new technology. It's different from ICANN's business as usual. And we have always considered that uh, being represented within a forum like ICANN was important. OK, so let's come back to uh, the presentation of the Frogan's technology. Um, uh, let's talk about what happened at ICANN 50 in London. London was last year. We had the presentations with Alex C. Tamas, right, who is the co-creator of uh, Frogan's technology. So this is the, a presentation to the Govern Governmental Advisory Committee. This is a committee which has country representatives, uh, you know, who have extensions such as .uk or .fr. So strategically, it's very important. It's a, it's a very important community. Are these governmental members? Yes, they're members of government. It's a political, ICANN is technical, but also political. There's a lot of regulatory. So this was very much political. During this same meeting in London, we had a presentation from uh, with uh, Stefan van Gelder. He uh, addressed the uh, registrar's committee. So this is a different division or a different branch, the GNSO, Generic Names Supporting Organization. It's one of the three divisions or pillars or branches of uh, ICANN. So these were two very important presentations that were given in London. How about ICANN 51 in LA? Right. Um, ICANN 51, Los Angeles. We uh, again had two important presentations. The first one was uh, Ben, but he's not there. Benjamin Pfister, if you attended the FTC3, uh, Ben is responsible for technical specifications at OP3FT, and he attended ICANN. We talked about this last time. He went there to officially uh, present the, the pattern of uh, addresses. Uh, very much based on uh, the work of domain names accomplished by um, on do domain names accomplished by ICANN. Not much to add. Um, I, I think uh, it's it's a slightly different. We are a slightly different voice um, within ICANN. Uh, oftentimes, uh, it, it gets uh, things are very technical and. Um, we still have an ongoing, uh, very constructive dialogue with them. 
So, the introduction of Rogan's uh, addresses, uh, there was a second chapter uh, or a second presentation during ICANN 52. Yes, in, in LA, I gave a presentation to, the, to another community called At Large. Sebastian Bachelet, who was here earlier, uh, was there as well. Uh, so this was internet users, the internet users community. So you asked me about ICANN 53, 52. 52, 53, 52, you're right. It is 52, which was in Singapore. And during uh, ICANN 52, we continued our discussions on IDN. And Philip, who was here earlier, gave another uh, presentation to the IDN community. Okay, so the uh, technical approval um, of this within ICANN. Very high level presentation. And in addition to this, there were meetings with uh, internet users, members of the ecosystem, and uh, presentations to registrars and uh, trademark holders during ICANN 52 as well. That is correct. Uh, we had a very important meeting with, uh, with a group of people you've met and I've met during the French Tech Tour. Uh, there will be a presentation uh, about that, uh, about the French Tech Tour in Tokyo. This is the, the mission we uh, carried out in Tokyo during which we uh, met uh, Breutz Consulting. Uh, these are registrars, and we met them during the previous conference. That is correct. They were here during the previous FCT. They were interested, and uh, they called for a meeting with uh, some of their key accounts, key customers, uh, technology manufacturers, and uh, an automotive uh, company as well. And we were able to talk directly with their customers and test some prototypes. 